Hey, hello manager. Let's talk about project management tools. Because I want to ensure that we both use the best tools that we get on the market. And I almost can read your mind because you think that this video will be about project management software that we use. But I want to stress this out. Yes, I will start with this project management software, but it's not the only focus of this video. So in general, I see three major groups of dedicated project management software. Life cycle applications, agile boards, and hybrid all-in-one solutions. And first of all, we have the lifecycle project management software, and it allows you to plan the whole project from start to end. And usually you have a work breakdown structure on the left and a gun chart on the right. But if you dig deep into these apps, usually you will notice that you can create budgets for the project, you can assign resources and level their workload on those tasks that they have and they actually allow you to do all the project management inside this application on basis of the tasks and deliverables. And the most popular names here are for sure Microsoft Project, Maryland Project, OmniPlan and any SaaS solution of this caliber like Vrike or something else. The next group is the task-based applications or the agile boards. And usually they are much simpler than the lifecycle applications. They are based on the tasks that you assign to different team members and you track all the work, all the communications below this task. In addition to that, they allow you to visualize this work by creating a Kanban or Scrum board. The most popular apps here are Asana, ClickUp and Trello. And last but not least, you have services or solutions that include all-in-one. And two main representatives here are Atlassian Jira and Microsoft Azure DevOps. They include everything in one package. You have the agile boards, you have wikis, you have DevOps capabilities there, source control and everything that a project team might need. And usually they are super customizable so you can tweak them up to align them with the industry and the project that you currently have. All right, I want to stress this out. Well, I understand and I believe in the power of the dedicated project management software. It helps you to manage the project, but first of all, not all projects uh, have a project management software. I don't have statistics, but I believe more than half of the projects in the world don't use any kind of software as we discussed it here. Moreover, the half that has this uh, software available, they don't use it as a one tool for the project. They just use some capabilities of this tool. Last but not least, lots of project managers think that if they have such a software, the projects will be finished on time and within budgets on autopilot. That's not true because mostly these tools do what you say them to do and they're dumb. If you don't know project management concepts, you will still fail projects with this application. So don't put too much faith in them. And that's actually why I think that the most critical tool for all project managers and all project managers need to master it as much as possible is actually a calendar. On my calendar, I track everything. I have meetings on my calendar. I have time slots to do some tasks that I need to do. I have even time slots to answer emails or very specific email that I need to answer during the day. So if something is not on my calendar, it won't happen on that day. And I believe it's a critical concept that all project managers need to embrace because it will help you to boost your productivity and keep your work-life balance at a normal rate. Just think about it. You have only eight working hours per day and you have so many time slots that you can fill in into these eight hours. Uh, on the other hand, you have hundreds of tasks that needs to be done on a project. That will force you to prioritize the tasks based on what's important to do today and fit it into those time slots that you have. And it will force you to protect those time slots to get this work done. On the other hand, if you finish all the tasks that you planned for yourself for the day, you will feel the achievement that you made this day and you move the project further. 
On the other hand, with all this hard work, it will be easy to draw the red line and disengage from the work at the end of the day. For these reasons, I use the Outlook right now because it allows you to track all the meetings in the calendar, it allows you to put emails as tasks right on the calendar, it allows you to integrate with Zoom and Skype for Business and all other tools that I need. By the way, the sponsor of this video is my free resource guide called 5 critical areas a great project manager needs to master. This PDF provides you access to unique content and tools that I don't share anywhere else. Things like my full guide to leadership, scope and risk management plan templates and lots of other valuable resources. If you want to be a successful project manager, this guide is for you. The link is in the description below this video. Next we have communication tools in general, but as I said before, if you have a project management solution, ideally you should keep all the communication there under each task, but in the real world it doesn't happen this way. That's why we still use Skype, Teams or Slack for operational communication on the project. Personally, I don't have any preference as to what communication tools to use. But statistically, I can see that Zoom is the number one application that I use these days because all our communication is virtual. Next, we have file storage services, things like OneDrive, Google Drive or Dropbox. And personally, I hate them all because they have such a bad user experience. Still, you need them from time to time, so it's just the matter of preference of your organization which service they will use. But in general, I recommend that you don't keep your project information in files. Rather than that, keep them on sites, keep them on wikis. Most of the project management applications have this ability to create pages with content and keep the project requirements there or any other documentation. For example, in Jira it's Confluence, in Azure DevOps they have Wiki and so on. So if you need to share some information with broader audience and more than once, I would recommend that you focus on creating Wiki pages rather than creating Google Docs and sharing them with each and every person. None of the services or applications that I mentioned actually sponsors this video. So if you ask me, I would prefer to use ClickUp as a project management software. This application allows me to adapt my vision on how to manage tasks, files, information, my calendar and to-do list in this simple way, all in one place. It allows you to make this application a one tool that stakeholders, team members and any subject matter expert can use in the same way. For sure, ClickUp integrates with all popular services and solutions. But if I were to start a new project, I would try to put everything inside the basic functionality of the app and try to keep it as one tool for everything. Alright, now I want to hear from you. What is the number one project management tool that you can suggest to all other project managers? What should we at least try to use on our projects? Leave me a comment below this video and personally I will review all the suggestions that you have. And by the way, if you want me to create a video and show you how I would use any of these tools as a project management software, just leave me a comment below and I'll put it on my to-do list. If you want to become a great project manager, don't forget to download the PDF I mentioned because all great project manager need to master those five areas. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching.